Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is showing off his entrepreneur skills. Yes, he is as a contestant in BET's newest and toughest competition series, The Grand Hustle. Let's yes. take a look. My name is Jonathan. I'm 33 years old, born in Inglewood, California, raised in Corona, Long Beach. Just because I got tight pants on and a bow tie don't mean that I can't hang in the hood. I got respect, you know what I mean? I'm trying to be a multimedia mogul. I want to have businesses, restaurants, clothing lines, have the top show. I want to have that, that clout. I need a win. Yes. There you go. All right, you yes. Back. Please welcome <laughs> Jonathan yeah. Elias. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. yes. Honey, you're looking good. Yeah. Man, you're doing it. I, I had to match y'all fly. That yes. was the first okay. thing I was like, look, I can't come on the show looking crazy. You know, like, you know, everyone yes. says that. You know where to get that from. I mean, beautiful black queen, yes. you know, representing for us. You know, I just have to represent back. Absolutely. You know? well, you're Absolutely. doing it. Thank you. Thank well, let's you. take us back to your foundation, Cal State. Yes. And then you got your master's at Howard University, yeah. the Mecca. The Mecca. H -U. H -U. H -U. You, know, you know, I love y'all. I love the guys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Wait, wait, wait. The rat the rat the Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll let love. you. HBCUs, we'll you. you know, that we, we have that, that bond. Absolutely, so, yeah. absolutely. So yeah. what did you study? <laughs> All right, so listen, you know, my family, they always talk to me, talk about me about this because at first, you know, being African, your family only thinks that in order to be successful, you have to be a doctor, doctor lawyer, right. mm -hmm. engineer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I studied medicine at first, and then I was like, all right, Ma, I can't do it. <laughs> right, you know, right. I, I, I'm, I, I'm an entertainer, so mm -hmm. I got my master's in mass communication and media studies. Yes. You know, got a 4.0. Come on. Yeah. Uh, you yeah. know, so I got to represent for the noobs because yeah. we do <laughs> achieve in every field of human endeavor. Come on, yeah. I'm I'm right. Okay, yes. You know? So let me shimmy now. Oh, let shimmy. Yes. Oh, yes. See, yes. look. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I always got to represent. Yeah. I wish I had a cane. Right. Oh, 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 oh. Look, look, see? Right, right, right. And you know, I got that same master's degree from Howard University. Yes. And that's common media wow. studies. So look. School of C representing here. There you go. Here. School yes. of C. Yes. And look, look, we on the stage together. Here we yes. go. I love it. That's I love it. That's what's up. That's well, you tough. mentioned this a little bit, but your parents are from Nigeria and Ethiopia. Mm -hmm. so, Eritrea. Eritrea. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I mean, so you know, it's, it's, okay. Yeah, it's all okay. love, you know, but... Yeah, you know, we got to make sure, guys, you know, we got to tell them, oh, look at them. Oh, look at them. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, there so that's go. the Halle Berry and Rick Ross. Right there, <laughs> <you know? laughs> so I love them. Yeah. I love them to death, man. Yeah. Well, I, do you feel any pressure being a uh, first oh, generation American? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> um, just the story from my parents coming to the States, mm -hmm. um, especially on my mom's side, you know, they, it was a war going on with Ethiopia and Eritrea, mm -hmm. so like okay. they had to leave um, the country. Some were refugees yeah. um, for years. Uh, they came out to the States. They worked full time, uh, went to school full time, brought their family members here. My grandmother raised them all by herself because my grandfather passed away. So just that, you yeah. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And to, to have all that pressure on to you because my, my whole thing and my whole motivation is just to make them proud. Yeah. Right. You know, yeah. I, I honestly don't even really do this for me. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I do this to show them like, Everything that you did, this is because of you. Yeah. You know? So you know what hustle and grind means. It, right? It's in my blood yeah. from them. Right. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it was only fitting for you right. to be a part of this you know, show. You know. So tell us the premise of the Grand <laughs> Hustle. Of course, T.I. show. Yes. Yeah, so T.I., um, he has 16 contestants from all walks of life. Mainly, you know, a lot of us right, on right. there, which is lovely. Um, and we all live in a mansion in Atlanta. He comes down, gives us uh, different uh, challenges, mm -hmm. and the winner of the entire series gets a six-figure salary with Grand Hustle, yeah. which is amazing. And, and just the fact that T.I. gives us this opportunity, mm -hmm. you know, when a lot of people don't yeah. give us this opportunity. Yeah, he could have just kept all of this to himself. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. And, you know, some contestants have felonies mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. have four degrees some have no degrees mm -hmm. you know but it. at Diversity. the end of the day we all have that same hustle and grind yeah so, drive. Yeah, yeah, right, that yeah. Drive. Right, yeah. Right. yeah so it, sh it shows the other people you mm -hmm. know right. exactly right, right, what right. don't judge a book by its cover yeah you know? exactly yeah. absolutely so with all that amazingness mm -hmm. going on and awesomeness mm -hmm. how did you end up on the grand hustle I mean what was the audition process like I honestly feel like the the audition process was the first challenge mm. like it, it, <laughs> Just because it wasn't shown on camera doesn't mean that it doesn't count as a ca challenge. The application, first of all, took me three and a half hours to do. What? Right. Wow. Um, hundreds of questions, all essay forms, no oh. multiple choice. Oh, wow. I gave up about three times, mm -hmm. not going to lie. And mm -hmm. then I was something, it was something that was just like, Jonathan, finish this. 
I finished it, then got hit up for a Skype interview. Mm. And after that, it was like, come to, come to Atlanta. Yeah, you want the rest it. is right, right, history. Right. Yeah. Of course, we're all very, well, a lot of people are familiar with T.I., mm -hmm. Grammy Award winner. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. he sold over 10 million albums. He's just a mogul. Uh, he's just yeah. a mogul. <laughs> are there any gems that he has given you offset? Yeah, see that right there. Yes. That was, that was the exact moment. Um, if you guys watch the show, you know that I have beef with a little somebody. I'm not going to really, you yeah. know, Get mention him because, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> people pay for that, you know. But um, <laughs> he literally sat me down because the viewers don't know everything that happens, you know, and he sees everything. So he, the fact that he sat me down and told me, he was like, why would you give someone you don't respect the power to have control over you? Yeah. And that right there just like, I yeah. was like, Damn, you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. so um, that changed my whole mindset. And um, just everything that, all the, all the opportunities that he's given to us. Like, I literally can wipe my resume of 20 years in the entertainment industry. Mm. I've done correspondent work for 106 and Park, mm -hmm. Howard's Homecoming host. Mm -hmm. Like, I've done yeah, it all. Stuff. Yeah. I can literally just take that all out mm -hmm. and put what he gave me. Right. And it, it's like you would think that I was already a mogul. So. Right. So how do we, and when do we find and out the, the winner? Just 15 oh, okay. second answer. Yeah, 15 yeah, second yeah, answer. Yeah, uh, when the season is over. <laughs> you like it. Well, we hope you like it. Because we love yes. it. You have stolen our hearts. Thank you oh, so thank much for so being much. here. For Make me. sure you uh, check him out on The Grand Hustle, all right? You can catch him out. Yeah, The Grand Hustle every Thursday. There we go. At 10 p.m. on BET. Also, for more information on Yonathan, <laughs> and follow us at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Coming up next. Thank you.